Tell me again. Again? What? You're gonna stare at that ring all night. I love it. I love you. Good thing, since we're spending the rest of our lives together and all. Tell me again about the house. I drove by it last week and it's still for sale. Now, it's not too big. No. Just enough room for you and me. For now. It's on the edge of a cliff by the ocean. So you can wake up every morning and see the sun rise over the water. When can I see it? Soon. Hmm? <laughs> Does it have a, a picket fence? I've always wanted a house with a white picket fence. I'll put one up. <laughs> and we'll paint the door red. My grandmother says a bright red front door is considered friendly and welcoming. You're cute. Weird, <laughs> but cute. Alec! Damn. I got distracted. Oh, Sean. Yeah, I know I'm late. I'll see you soon. For Edie Durant, life as she knew it ended over a year ago on a wet country road. But today, she'll get a second chance at happiness. Because Edie Durant's future is about to develop in a place where the clearest picture isn't always black and white, and still life isn't quite so still. The Twilight Zone. Sorry. You look a mess. I didn't sleep. Night mess? Unusual. Edie, we need to talk. Are you breaking up with me? I'm serious. Good. Because my life isn't serious enough. Too much levity, that's my problem. When was the last time you picked up a camera? Not since the accident. You don't see any of our old friends anymore? You don't work? It's been a year. And you're no better off... Don't do this to me, okay? I have to. I'm afraid for you. I was in a bad place. I won't go back, I promise. Good. So you don't want to go back there. You can't stay where you are. Your only option is to move forward. What do you want from me? Just go out and shoot. 24 pictures of anything. Edie, Alec wouldn't want you to live like this. A year of mourning is long enough. edge of a cliff by the ocean so you can wake up every morning and see the sun rise over the water.
It's our house. Oh my God. Our dream house. We're traveling to another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are only that of the imagination. You're entering the Twilight Zone. Of a house. Me and Alec used to dream about buying a cottage just like this. Our last night together, he told me that he'd found it. The perfect house, only he never got a chance to show it to me. Okay. And? I didn't take this picture. I don't even know where this house is. But when I went to develop the pictures from the graveyard, it was in with them, right in the middle of the room. Edie, you haven't been in that dark room in a year. So maybe Alec took this picture of this house and somehow it got mixed in with the stuff you shot yesterday? I checked the negative. It's on there, but I didn't take this picture. Sean, it's in color. I only shoot black and white. Well, there's got to be a logical explanation. Yeah, it's a miracle. Call the Vatican. It's not that simple. Hey, Edie. Hey, Phil. Thanks. Do you mind? No, well, go ahead. Please consider the possibility. That what? that Alec is trying to communicate with you. You know, uh, Sally Mara booked a show downtown. She'll be taking most of her stuff with her. Do you want a spot? You want me to hang my pictures here? Yeah, bring us some framed prints. We'll put them up. I don't know. Oh, no, she'll do it. She'll do it. People will see your work. Why can't you at least open your mind to the idea that this is real? You are asking me to believe something that is impossible. Here, I thought that was part of your job description. Where are you going? Shoot more pictures, see what develops. occasion out of it. I'll invite some of the old gang, Kay and Aaron and Zach and Ash. Whatever you want. I called you last night. I was a little worried. I was in the dark room. I have something to show you. Listen, I know that it was my idea that you got back into taking pictures, but I'm starting to think maybe it's a little too soon. How did you do this, this Photoshop? It's on the negative, Sean. Alec is doing this, he has to be. There's no other explanation. Unless you want it so badly, you're making it happen. That's impossible. Now who's being closed-minded? It's him. <sighs> okay, okay, say it is him. What do you think he's trying to say? He wants me to be with him. Or maybe. He's trying to tell you he's at peace. Then he'd send me a picture of him lying on a beach in Bermuda. 
He's at this house waiting for me. When I find it, we can be together. Okay, okay, okay. Let's say this house does exist. It could have been sold or torn down. It's out there. I know it. I've been searching the internet and the classifieds all night. I haven't found it yet, but I will. Why can't you just be happy for us? Because there is no us anymore. Alec is dead. He can't come back to life. There's no way for you two to be together again. I mean, really together, unless you do. I'll do that. No, 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 no. You don't mean that. You promised me. That was before. Edie. Next time, I might not get there in time to save you. I won't need you to save me. I'll be fine. I'll be with Alec. Chances are you'll never find that place. I'll find it. Alec will show me. Ready? What? The coffee house. I left your message. Everyone's coming to see your pictures. I'm not going. What? I have to go back to the house. What house? I found it, Sean. I found it. I took pictures. Look. It even has a nursery. Would you listen to yourself? It's there. It's right there. Alec wants me to go there. You know? Alec doesn't want anything. Alec is dead. He's dead, and you're alive. And where he's gone, you can't follow. You know, I thought you of all people would have faith. Why do you want to ruin this for me? I'm not trying to ruin anything. I'm trying to protect you. From Alec? From yourself. Alec was my best friend. I loved him like a brother, and I don't believe that he would want you to be with him if it meant that you had to hurt yourself to do it. I don't want to hurt myself. You are. You are right now, Edie. This obsession is not healthy. 
Now, this isn't about the life that you shared with Alec. This is about death. And what I want you to do, I want you to come down to the coffee house, see your friends, and spend one hour among the living. Okay. One hour. Pictures look great, Ken. Let's take a closer look at the installation. Pictures. I'm not the one doing it. Edie, wait. I have to go to him. Alan! Alan! Please come. Storm's starting to pick up. Let's get out of here, okay? Come on. I'm uh, Matthew Forsyth, by the way. I own the, the cabin up there. It's a beautiful place. Need some work. Actually, it's been on the market for over a year. My real estate agent told me that a woman called yesterday asking about it, so I came out for one last look. I don't know. As soon as I got here, I was like, I had this feeling that maybe I shouldn't sell after all. So I came out for a walk to clear my head. Did it work? I want to hold on to it for a little while longer. Maybe fix it up a bit. Yeah, well, that's a great house. Look, uh, can I ask you what you're doing out here, dangling over cliffs? Put a bigger fence around it. 
Okay, I'll do that. Um, maybe I'll paint the door red. What did you say? Oh, I know it sounds weird. I just heard somewhere that a bright red front door is considered friendly and welcoming. Yeah, I, I've heard that too. Uh, you know, I think the stove still works. Um, do you want a cup of tea or something? Yeah, that'd be nice. Okay. Edie Durant thought her life was over, but a lost love gave her a new path to follow. Now, Edie is taking her first step back into the world and out of the Twilight Zone.